cows grass? So cows are fed grass, I'm saying. Smart guy is saying cows are fed grass. We are at the Veggie Pride Parade in New York City on a very gloomy day for a very gloomy event. Am I just an animal? I like to face the animal. If I can't face the animal, if I still hurt the animal, let's face the animals. They don't know what the vitamins are. Get, get a grill in here. Marvel sauce. The food chain continues. The natural selection. That's the tiger. <laughs> got 
guys, this wasn't planned. Otherwise, Frankie Boy would have a videographer and I'd be eating the meat myself. <laughs> Raw meat is the most easily digestible food on the planet. Enjoy your salmonella. Thank you, brother. I will. Be my cut. E. coli and beef. E. coli. E. coli. Oh, we can have salmonella too, technically. What? Don't, don't, don't eat so fast, like, take it That's slow. That's so good, dude. Cooked meat has, it uh, denatures the nutrients and the vitamins. B vitamins are reduced by a lot. Vitamin C is completely destroyed. I mean, the real reason is this was fairly short notice. We didn't have time to rent a grill. Yeah, cookies great too. Can you explain to me how? Yeah, what is it doing? It's impossible to get vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin K2 on a vegan diet. Those are essential. We, we didn't have time for, to rent uh, the grill. Well, then, then that must mean that I'm about to die because I haven't eaten any animals in six years. Right? Supplements. I do. We should call an ambulance. We should call an ambulance, right? You take supplements? Well, if, if, if your response to me is that I should take supplements, why don't you do the Do you take supplements? Sometimes. Every supplement is made with kerosene. Absolutely positive for your body. So this is the solution? Oh my God. You can eat me too, guys. Well, good job. I hope you're happy and proud of yourself. Walk away. Walk away, walk away. Just ignore him. Ignore him, ignore him, ignore him. Ignore him. Ignore him. Walk away, ignore him. Ignore him, ignore him. Ignore him. Just don't give him a second. Ignore him. The reason they come is because he's ignored. You're gonna eat meat whether you're here or not. That makes no sense. This is a sexual thing, yeah. Innocent people are susceptible to listening to this message. We should leave, we should leave out the circle. Just leave out the circle. He's, yeah. He's just, just just leave out. Ten minutes. Danny was over here talking. Why are they doing that? Because it's fun. It's adorable. You know how cute that is? You understand that? He's like, what would God feel good about that, bro? That's adorable. We should do the reverse circle. It's the only move. It's the reverse circle. They're stronger than still a human being. We spoke to the officer earlier and they said uh, it was okay the I wouldn't say that. I, I wouldn't say that. I mean, that. That's a whole other metaphysical conversation. Yeah. Let's talk about yeah. what's bad and right and wrong and natural and unnatural. And that, that's, that's aside from the news. I'm here to, to explain why I think a guy is okay. not nutritionally yeah. adequate. Yeah, if you guys want us to leave, like, yeah. if we can. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Are you guys down for like reverse circle? Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You don't mind if we get a little more food? That's okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm choosing to bring as much. I'm choosing to bring as much attention. I'm telling you, it's good for a photo. You guys are going to see her here. Veganism is seriously damaging. The majority of people eat meat. The people that are vegan and trying hard to spread that message are making innocent people sick. Why is the message that you're sending? When the majority of the world eat already eats meat, why is it so important to come here to this environment where the purpose of people being here 
is to spread the idea of compassion and to minimize pain and suffering and death. There has never been a group of people that have eaten, eaten, not eating meat. Every pain, traditional society is the actual group of people food. not eating meat. Meat is essential for health. There is We're that group. group. There is no group We're the group. of people over a long We're the group. Can we do one photo up, reverse circle, face Veganism away. is yeah, new. Like right, humans have never persisted all the vegan diet in nature. Meat diet, people diet. You're going to die. You all enjoy that. Can we do one for the photo? Can we do one together as a vegan? We're literally going to get a heart attack, man. How many pounds of meat does it take to get a heart attack? A lot. How many pounds of meat does it take to get a heart attack? I don't know the specific pounds of meat, but I know that meat is classified as a group one carcinogen by the World Health Organization. Do you know what the carcinogen is in meat are called? It's similar to asbestos. Do you, do you know what they're called? And, yes, heterocyclic amines and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Are you, sorry, so where are you getting this information from? Let me get my friend. <laughs> That's true. She doesn't know what they're fucking called. Gorilla Maya is an advanced collection end product. Poison. Raw meat is our savior. What kind of meat is that? This is a grass finished organic like a plant. Reality. Bitch, I'm a cow. I don't mind. You can film me. Go for it. We can get in this together. So you got a big grin on your face. You and the camera, Mom. Hold on. As we're world famous. I'm not a cow. I don't say now. Raw vegetables will give you kidney stones. In I'm a registered dietitian. I work for the state. Okay. What are your questions? Why are you recording? I'm a videographer. Okay, great. So what were you asking for? I said meat is a group one carcinogen. What was your response to that? I asked you what the carcinogens in meat were called. Processed meat is a group one carcinogen. You know what the carcinogens are called? Beam iron. Beam iron. Yes, it is. Beam iron. Yo, you making the eaters look bad because meat eaters don't eat like that, Mo. There is research that shows that iron from meat causes cancer. Young lady, free heme iron is a free radical. It causes oxidation in the digestive system and that's why it's dangerous. The two carcinogens in meat, just for future arguments, are heterocyclic amines and polycyclic aromatic hydrogen. They're actually helping. They're helping. That is. Do you know how they found that, that those cause cancer? You don't know. So you're a vegan dietitian and you don't know this. Research. The research. You know what the research was? You know the methodology of the study? No, the rat study. In vitro rat study. Um, I don't. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. I just got one. If you can help us prove it for me, if you can prove me wrong, because this is I don't know the truth because I'm not a doctor. Something with the meat is so good, right? It's so strong because it's dope. It's meat. It's amazing, and it's the amino acids are really good, right? So you eat them and you become strong. You're also a member of the everything you're saying. But you're an the, you the I didn't say anything. I'm talking about cancer. The I'm talking no, about I, oh, I'm self-centered. I'm talking about something I want to talk about. Sorry. Can we talk about it or you're not down? So well, something with the amino acids, right? We tried to talk earlier and you just interrupted me every time I tried to talk. I, I, give me the, you know, the first, it's going to be a little dramatic. Are you wearing makeup? You know, he's wearing you're you're like, like, hey, is, is Frankie camera? Boy wearing makeup? Is Frankie Boy wearing makeup? He's not so don't worry. Is Frankie Boy wearing makeup? I don't think so. You know what? Well, you're on camera, so I actually I don't blame you for wearing makeup. I don't. I just wet my face. No. So anyway, so listen, amino acids something. They're so strong that the intestine, like, to prevent it to pass through, you need more acid to burn down and break the chains. So it, like, it fucks up your whole system because of the, to break down those amino acid chains. What's it, what, what are you saying? So for the amino acid chains to pass through the intestines, it needs, like, more acid in the intestine to burn it down. So that fucks up your whole, the work your for your whole body. Is, your, stomach, your stomach always maintains an acidic pH. What's your point? But the addition, it's, like, too much acid. You see, so more acid, you're saying, does not affect the health whatsoever. Consuming meat does not increase. So don't you need mucus to protect the organs against acid? You're 
your intestines and the lining of your intestines always has meat, always has enough mucus. So exactly. So if there does it need more acid to burn meat is my question. No, meat digests normally. Meat digests the same as vegan food. I shit like six times a day, bro. What are you talking about? You shit like six times a day. That's yeah, it's not amazing. A good thing. It's How amazing. do you have time you to work a job? About? Yeah, exactly. I know my job is they pay me to shit. That's the crazy thing. So it actually works out great. They pay me like a hundred bucks, so I make like six hundred a day. After half the taxes, forget about it. You know, it goes down to like four hundred. V spot, vegan food court, guys. Twelve St. Mark's place. I appreciate it. Take care. I gotta go do a speech. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm like, eat more vegetables. I have Let's hope I'm able to get a job after this. What? I hope I'm able to get a job after this. You need a job? Oh, yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, right? I used to be a vegetarian. Take a bite. I'm gonna show my vegan friends what that looks like. Okay, now now like a lamb. Like a lamb. What? Like a lamb. Like a lamb. What? He he like like a a lamb. No, no, no. He's gonna. Uh, one day he's gonna die. You, know, he's you heard it first, ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna die of salmonella. Lamb. Even though E. coli is what's in me. Meat is not bad for you. Vegetable oils, refined carbohydrates, and the true killers. Really? I've been a, I've been a vegan 21 years. I'm 55 okay. I would years old. We should advise you to look again. into the Western A price we down foundation. Yeah. Very positive. Heart disease is the number one murder in the world. I would advise probably. you to look into the Western A price foundation. You're gonna eat meat anyway, bro. It's not, it doesn't make a difference. You think we don't see this every day? You know we don't see people That's eating right. meat every day? This is what we raise around. Okay? It's adorable. It's literally cute. It's literally cute. I like it. It's adorable, it is, because it's like I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Hey, sign the bike. Hey, what's up, bro? I appreciate your support, brother. Let's do a selfie. Are you good at math? Photos are five dollars. Are you good at math? Now all of a sudden? Because it sounds like you're really bad at math. Awesome. Raw meat, you don't even have to chew. I appreciate it, man. Followed a standard American diet for 18 years. You're gonna die at like 63, bro. What are you talking about? It's literally the math. People die at 70 years old in this country. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh, wait, sorry. Attention grabbing. Silliness. Oh, but it's you because he needs to get the light. Good? Yeah. Good? How much money are you making off this? Nothing. I'm just trying to help vegans, man. How's that? There's so much more meat being sold right here. You can't eat enough. You can't eat enough. You can't eat enough for this to make a difference. You can't eat enough meat to make us upset because we're already upset from all the meat consumption, bro. It's so much. You let me speak. They're eating meat. That's not true. What, what is that? You're what did you eat today? You're about to lie. Are they eating carnivorous diets? What did I eat today? What did you eat today? I had like some quinoa, chickpeas, a coffee. You know how they harvest vitamin, though? What vitamins did you receive from oh, chickpeas oh, oh, oh. and quinoa? You know you know how they they are you going to disprove veganism right no. now? No. You know how they harvest those crops? You know how they harvest crops? Yes, I do. Tell us. So, when you, this is the same thing, just do it, okay, guys, let me do it, let me do the thing. When you grow crops, reference a particular, whatever farm you're talking about also, which farm are you talking about that you know how to, when you plant seeds, you spray herbicides and pesticides, you kill trillions and trillions of rodents and insects just by spraying. How do you feed cows? Cows eat grass, buddy. How do you feed, yeah, grass. So they just feed up the grass just everywhere, they make farms. 
they create fun. Are you very good? Yeah, the grass is everywhere. It's called the grassland. Okay. But the, you have to have a, you have a limited space you're putting them in. They're no, not, they're not, no. So they feed cows grass? So cows are fed grass, you're saying. The smart guy is saying cows are fed grass. So cows are fed grass. The harvesting genius is saying cows are fed grass. Please, let's tell us how cows are fed grass. Do you want me to explain what cows are? Are you saying that cows are fed grass? Because you're looking really stupid right now. The majority of cows in this country are not fed grass. Okay, it's too, it takes up too much space. So they feed them shit stuff. I know, but this is good. I know, she messed up my punchline. Why he brought the meat though? I need to hear why. Was, you, was it over here? I didn't, I didn't see it. Yeah, right over here. No, why you brought the beef to the parade? No, this guy always made these water dogs. Why you brought the beef in? Yeah, no, just. He yeah. got a nice book why, bag, but why, why you brought the beef? Why That's good. Why you doing this? 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 Why you doing
of eating something that doesn't food. want to die. We are comprised of raw fat and raw protein. Just a little bit, so it's like a kid doesn't yeah, or a dog or something. Yeah, a dog gets Just that part. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so how do you how do you humanely kill something that doesn't want to die? I would look into the halal method of slaughtering animals. Not you. Not you. Halal. Halal. Say it right, please. Halal. Excuse me. Yes, yes, I'm not saying it. I'm not satiation. Most people eat about half a pound of fat and a pound of beef per day. But they use it like raw also? Yeah, I, I eat about a pound, pound, pound and a half, half a pound of fat. When, you really don't have to eat much at all. But when you look at what indigenous people used to eat, all of them ate, they ate raw food, they ate Raw meat is the most nutritionally so dense food in the planet. It's not eating raw, he's a little bit out like my stomach, I have really bad stomach problems. I took a drug called Accutane. So for me, eating eating other eating other like plant-based foods, I don't digest it. Yeah. So I could if I wanted to. I don't necessarily think plant foods are bad. It's just that they're they're lacking nutrition kind of. Well, I mean, I would call it. planning on doing this at all. Uh, what, what happened was I was I I was testing some I, I, I worked with a chef so I was I came down to do a tasting and he messaged me that I'm going to Unit Square to do this and I was like alright I'm down here doing a tasting and let me go over at my camera. Yeah right I was like oh well fuck it let's see how it goes. Oh my god thank you for like I was super curious I'm not a this is my thing that's your thing that's fine. I was just so curious about how this actually works. Especially the, you know, how much you see stuff all the time, like absolutely don't touch raw meat, don't eat raw meat. Yeah. So to see if that's like. Yeah, that it's breaking, it's definitely breaking a lot of like modern conventions and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, they can find every like human Find one vegan with teeth like this. I don't have those teeth. I'm not lucky like that. <laughs> What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, listen. Uh, what kind of work do you do? Can we put a sign? What kind of work do I do? I'm a missionary saving vegans. What? Huh? Someone throw a penny at me. <laughs> Oh, no, not up there. Yo, these things are fat and crazy. Oh, no, that's something. Oh, we got one about foodborne illness? I hope I get foodborne illness. Oh, my God. We got some vegan acrobatics going on over there. The, uh... Oh, what they doing? We got the Muppet Squad over here. And then the guys have nothing better to do. Nobody fucking knows this, so it's okay. I feel better if this goes viral than those. I'm gonna have to make like an Instagram now and talk about this shit. I'll wait like 10 minutes and we'll never get out of here. Because no, no, I don't want to just, like, we're not gonna win anything. Right, right. And, and as I said, I think everyone who is here is here already.
Well, despite the raw meat eating, the vegans were still hungry enough to completely ravage the Indian food stall. So, I guess the hourly blood sugar rush is not held back by anything. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy. That's the guy from Milk Jar's video, dude. Who? That's the guy from Milk Jar's Who? video. This guy? Yeah, the tall guy? Yeah. Who do you know that? The both old. The hat? That's yeah. the guy who comes out every night and goes to our videos. That's the guy who keeps up trying to smash the face. Rob, the poster at the head. Oh, was he? Yeah, yeah. Does he look familiar? Yeah, yeah, he's the one that's fucking... Let's bow for the camera. Oh, let's bow for the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a pleasure. <laughs> You know, you know, we're, we're saying like support your local farmer, but these guys have never been to a farm, so I don't know where they'd get started. They're used to the food coming here. So let me take a tour of the ghouls and goblins of the vegan Keep it up your alley, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, they do amazing work over there. Right. So we're talking about nine billion plus birds. I should also tell you, if you're not aware of the fact that we are based in Virginia, in rural Virginia, which is one of the largest chicken producing states and regions of the country where at any given time over a half a billion chickens are locked up in concentration camps. In Judaism and Christianity, for example, Eden was vegan. Did y'all know that? Nobody ate anybody in the Garden of Paradise. And things kind of changed. But the other day I was on YouTube and I just didn't turn it off and this a video came up with an evangelist and I'm not of that ilk but she was saying one thing I have learned is God never changes his mind and I'm thinking then Genesis 129 still holds we're supposed to be vegan I saw that everywhere in the New Testament when the word fish is used it's the word for fish but in that story of the so-called loaves and fishes, that word translates first as a relish, something like a hummus that you would spread on loaves. Second definition, dessert. Third definition, little fishes. He said some translator must have thought that it was more miraculous to multiply fishes than the other stuff. Well, to me today, that is the miracle of the loaves and the baba ganoush. So, <laughs> learn these things, talk to these people, and check out people that are working on this. In Defense of Animals has a group called Vegan Spirituality with a monthly online meeting. There's another group called the Vegan Interfaith Coalition. We want to get in there, we want to talk to these people, and we want to be able to say, that if you can talk about war, and you can talk about immigration, and you can talk about abortion, I can say, let's have vegan cookies after church this Sunday without yeah. there being a mutiny. Yeah. But when we put a suicide vest on, and we move into the middle of a crowd, and we use our religion to justify it, or we go to a church that doesn't have the same beliefs as my church, and we shoot everybody, that's religion at its worst. This is a manifestation of religion at its worst, and we need to call it out. A big round of applause for Honey LeBron as she makes her way to the stage here. Yes, yes, yes. All right, fantastic. So, Honey, what do you say we uh, what do you say we bring our contestants up? Uh, are you asking if I want to? Well, I was just thinking maybe that would be a thing. I was just hoping to do some like group therapy and just talk about my problems. But ah. instead, are, is this mic on or off? Or can, can you hear so, me? Or do you Nate, wish I was louder? Nate, can we bring up, uh, can we bring, bring up the mics there? I wish I, I can get loud is what I'm trying to say. Um, all right, so louder, louder. There yeah, I think go. that's oh it. Good, God. good, good. All right, fantastic. There's those dazzling vocals back. So what we are going to bring to the stage are contestants yes. for... The cost, I don't know why I wanted to say the pineapple contest. Well, if it were the pineapple contest, we would have two very clear winners. But we probably But I think see. it's a little broader than that. So we'll just go from uh, from your left to right. So the first is uh, is an apple with a worm. Step forward, Five step seconds. forward, show us what you've got here. Yes, 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 very nice. It's yeah, conceptual. A worm. It's very conceptual. Very conceptual. Does the worm have anything to say? 
No comment from the worm. No comment. Just hoping not to be eaten, I'm sure. Well, we're all vegan, so we're not going to eat worms. All right, so that's the apple. And then is this a, uh, is this like both at once? Yes, yes, the pineapple duo. Here they are. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Glorious. Wait, where Very is that slice of pizza guy? Can I have you guys on the pizza? Oh, Never yeah, mind. there was a guy in a pizza costume. Where is that person? Oh, yeah. Wait, why aren't you on stage? Pizza rat, pizza person. get in this contest. Nine pizza. years ago, I was dragged into it against my will, and I'm now dragged. Do you know what he is? He's not just piece of pizza. He is the pizza rat that was dragging the slice of pizza up the subway. Oh stairs. yes, the internet sensation that get was the pizza rat. Get on up rat. here and enter this contest. All right. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. He's he's putting the final touches He'll together. He'll get here. He'll get here. All right. So that's the uh, the pineapple duo. And then what do we have here? Dinosaur Kale! All right! AKA. Oh my goodness! Can you, uh, can you spin around and show us the entire thing? Oh yeah, look at that! What you can that? see! No expense spared here, ladies and gentlemen. AKA Lacinato. That's right, that's right. All right, so you can take your place. And then, uh, yes? Yeah, uh, salad? Yes, yes, yes. We have salad right here. Yes, yes, salad. yes. So turn around, let us see the entire thing. Yes, yes. oh yes, very good. Oh, and she's got yeah. props. What is she holding? Uh, she's holding, look at uh, that. yeah, like salad tongs. She salad tongs. Got very good. Look at that. Now, did you, did you make this yourself? Yeah. Listen. She made it herself. I think that gets extra points. Woo! There is a salad shooter somewhere here. I want you to stay away from them. Yeah, exactly. It's very dangerous. And what we have here looks like two Dalmatians. Yes, is that right? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, yes, I have heard, heard of a dairy cow called a Holstein. Right, but you could, I'm just saying. You Listen, look, if, they say like if you have to explain you it, fantastic. it's even better. You look fantastic. Better. So come forward, come forward. Woo! All right, so. Yes, yes, yes. Not your meat, not your teeth. So this is like an anti-milk thing, which I love. All right. Not Hashtag Moo Too. Exactly. That is the best part of the entire thing. I love it. That I is love funny. it. Fantastic. All right. Good, good, good. And last but certainly not least, we have a whole veggie ensemble here. We have romaine lettuce, we have potatoes, we have cucumbers, all kinds of stuff. And did you make this yourself as well? Uh, we had someone make it, but the tomato is so did. By the way, the costume yeah. itself is just a citizen of Williamsburg. That's just what this is. Just an average Williamsburgian. That's it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right, all right. Fantastic, fantastic. And can we get our pizza rat up And where's here? the pizza rat? Yes, come pizza, pizza rat. rat. Come pizza oh rat. Oh my god. This is a vegan pizza rat. <laughs> all right. A vegan pizza rat. Ladies and gentlemen, pizza rat. Yes, yes. Very important <laughs> to include the action. Come on, reenactment. Otherwise. <laughs> It's important to contextualize. Right, you're upstaging these children. The these whole thing. children. <laughs> All right. And uh, is that about it? I think, well, I think that just about does it. All right. So what are the prizes that we have for okay. our contestants here? Let's uh, Maggie, see. do you have the prizes? Are you going to try to get a, you, are, do we, we're trying to get a picture. Let's, uh, oh, yes, yes. All, let's get a picture of everyone. As a group portrait photographer, I know, I wear many hats. Could I get you in the back so we have the little ones pull yes, forward? Yes, rats always in the back. I think Everyone we are going to want a group photo taken from here, from the front of the stage, with me off the stage. We want a group photo of all of our contestants here. There we go. Oh, you're looking at them, not the microphone. Okay, and there we are. Oh my god, we have four whole photographers. TMZ is going to be fighting over these pictures, you guys. Perez Hilton is going to be marking these up on his site tomorrow. Okay, great. So now, are we giving away some prizes? Okie dokie. So we're going to, we have uh, four prizes, I believe, four, four places for uh, prizes here. So first of all, I think everyone did an amazing job and everyone deserves a huge round of applause for giving it their all. Definitely, definitely. All right. So the fourth place winner. So as, again, this will be decided by, by your applause. Is it apple with worm? Is it pineapple duo? Is it Kale Dinosaur uh, Ensemble? Is it Holstein Cow? Is it a uh, pile of vegetables? Okay, that sounds like uh, it sounds like 
Sounds like pile of vegetables. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not saying that right. How would you pronounce it? Pile. <laughs> salad. We're just going to say salad. Yeah, okay, very good, very good. Yes, so, and the fourth, and what is the fourth place? All right. All right, so the fourth place, yes, the fourth place prize is, oh, I love it already, SeaWorld, SeaWorld kills. Yes, they do. They kill and they're horrible. Not in a good way, as in they're killing it. But this is a little uh, little care package. It's got all kinds of really cool stuff. All the prizes are fantastic. We have uh, organic Moringa green smoothie with plant protein for you. Uh, we have, um, oh, this is a fantastic uh, Dominion. Dominion, if you haven't read it, it's, uh, yeah, 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 that's gonna keep it. And some other stuff as well. And of course, the tote, yours to keep and to cherish. And a big round of applause for Mixed Greens. All right, fantastic. Yes, please. So if you haven't visited our booth, we're Safe Haven Farm Sanctuary. We're open for tours. Come for a visit, come Woo. for a tour. Definitely check us out, Facebook, Instagram. Thank you. Safe Haven Thank you Farm so much. Sanctuary. Thank you so much. Uh, they do great work over there. They do fantastic work. All right, so we should now decide on our third place winner. Will third place go to Apple with a uh, worm? Will it go to Pizza Rat? <laughs> Pineapple Duo? <laughs> Kale Dinosaur? <laughs> Holstein Cow? <laughs> Cows. Cow, cow and calf. All right. Um, I don't know, honey, what do you think? I, I, it's hard because I had someone cheering very close to me, so it was hard to tell. But oh. it sounds like it's either between Pizza Rat and I think dinosaur, the whole dinosaur kale team. Okay, okay. So, so can we do a, a one-off here? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna do a runoff. All right. So, pizza rat, <laughs> dinosaur kale. <laughs> Sounds like dinosaur kale to me. I'm gonna say. All right. So that is our third prize, and that is going to be this lovely tote here. So don't mess with mama. Don't do it, don't do it. So you've got all kinds of cool stuff in here. Some really cool, uh, really cool things that you can go check out and share together. And how about a big round of applause for these two awesome human beings. High five right here, please. High five, high five. Thank you, high five. All right, yes, you guys were amazing. All right, so now we have the second place winner. Who's it gonna be, who's it gonna be? Will it be Pineapple Duo? Will it be Apple with Worm? Will it be Pizza Rat? I don't know, that's a tough one as well. And we still have Holstein Cow left over, right? And Holstein, I'm sorry, Holstein Cow and Calf! And, and what? Well, they, they've already won, so... Yeah, that was like a, that's like a group thing. Um, yeah, all right. I think I heard, we need to, I think we need to do another one-off. It was between pineapple and pizza. Okie dokie. Further oh. evidence that pineapple and pizza were meant to be together. It's true, it's true. Nature's perfect food. Can we do it this way? Just so we know it's fair, you can only clap for one, okay? So let's first hear you clap only for one. Is it gonna be pineapple? Uh, no, is it gonna be, I almost said pineapple pizza. No, I would clap for that. Is it gonna be pizza rat? <laughs> or pineapple duo? Sounds like pineapple duo to That's me. That's democracy right yeah. there. All right, there it is right there. And so our second prize is, oh, so very cool, this lovely gift basket right here with a uh, veggie, veggie uh, name I can't pronounce, and some very cool bamboo utensils and other cool stuff, but a very cool vegan cookbook and a lovely basket. Yes, 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 thank you so much. How about a high five? All right, yes, 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 very good, very good. All right, well, it's now time for our first prize winner. Who is it going to be, ladies and gentlemen? Will it be Apple with Worm? <laughs> Cow and Calf? <laughs> or Vegan Pizza Rat? <laughs> Honey? I was thinking about my hair. So it sounds like that was a tie three-way. A three so can we do once okay. again. I'm sorry, I was getting some updated news in my ear. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So one last time. One last time. You can only clap for one. That's how we'll make this fair. All right. Will the first prize go to Apple with Worm? Will it go to Mama Cow and Calf? Or will it go to Vegan Pizza Rats? 
I think there's a slight advantage there I with think uh, that was pizza, pizza rat. Pizza I rat. Think that was pizza all rat. right. Yeah, all right. Fantastic. Well, a big round of applause for all of our contestants here tonight. And this afternoon, rather. Right? Pizza Rat gets a $100 gift certificate to V Spot, who has a booth over here. If y'all haven't had the empanadas, you know that they're going to sell out of them, so go get them now. Oh, absolutely. All right, fantastic. And we do have, this just in, we yes. have an additional prize for special mention. Oh, all right. So, so special mention. How do we do this? Well, I think One we just... One special mention, and it's going to go either to Apple with Worm. Yes. You're going with that for one. So special mention, are we giving it to Apple with Worm? Or Holstein Cow and Calf? Listen, this isn't personal. It's just you, you're up against an animal, a dog. So, all right. So <laughs> yeah, you children and animals. Children and animals should never try to compete. I don't know children. what that is, but I'm guessing it's been tested for anthrax and it's fine. Okay, yeah, whatever it is. I'm sure it's lovely. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, well, if it's a dog biscuit, biscuit, then you clearly have more use for it than Apple with a worm. One more big round of applause for all of our contestants here for the Veggie Pride Parade Costume Contest.